You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another vintage toy with you today. But before I start, I would just like to say thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments. Now this is from Ideal. There is another version of this from another company. It is the Sesame Street Big Bird Story Magic for ages three years and up. Hi, I'm Big Bird. Would you like to hear a story? So he tells stories with cassette tapes, which they are calling, you'll see here, include storybook and synchromation cassette that makes Big Bird come to life. So when you put the tape in, his eyes go up and down, his eyebrows, and his uh, beak opens and closes. Talking animated toy. Now I was thinking too, I, I think Big Bird is the one voice I haven't heard anybody try to emulate or copy. Probably one of the harder of all the voices. Maybe there's someone out there, but I definitely can't do it. So let me do this. It's a big box over a foot and a half tall. Let me turn it around and we'll take a look at the side panels. Okay, this and the other side are similar, but I'll show you both. It's a lot of duplicate information. As you can see, it says nest included. A lot of times you see that's missing. So I have that with the original box. Uh, not something you find often here. Big Bird moves and talks in perfect harmony with his real voice. This was item number 7,000 from Ideal, and it takes four AA batteries. Hi, I'm Big Bird. Would you like to hear a story? It includes storybook and synchromation, that's trademarked, cassette that makes Big Bird come to life. Big Bird tells delightful stories and sings songs that entertain, stimulate thought, and create a wholesome environment in which children can grow and learn. Now let's check out the other panel. It's a little bit different. All right, all the same information, just a different picture. Looks like Mom is there with her son and uh, Big Bird and his nest. And then, uh, really, I just got to show you the back of the box. So let's do that. All right, here we go. This has a lot more information on the back. You could see the cassette going in the back of Big Bird. Let's see, let me, uh, actually, let me do this, now that you've seen the whole panel, let's zoom in to a section and I'll read it and I'll show you each little section of the box. All right, here we go, this says, now, now children can have fun with this familiar Sesame Street pal as they read along with or just listen to Big Bird Story Magic. This state-of-the-art talking animated toy is a real friend that helps children learn more about the world around them as he entertains and provides endless opportunities for wholesome fun and discovery. The magic of synchromation animation brings Big Bird to life. Specially programmed audio cassette tapes animate Big Bird's beak and eyes in perfect harmony with his real voice. It's easy to enjoy. Just insert the Story Magic cassette and adjust the volume. An automatic shutoff at the end of each side of the tape prolongs battery life and helps to ensure hours of enjoyment. All right, now it looks like here, let's just go to the next section. All right, this says, included with Big Bird Story Magic is a delightful, beautifully illustrated Big Bird Can Share Storybook and Synchromation cassette. Now, the one thing I don't have is this brush. That was missing from the box, but, you know, I guess I just have to. Maybe one day I'll find it. We'll see. Animated beak, soft and pliable vinyl beak, perfectly synchronized to Big Bird's voice. His moving eyes, so expressive and lifelike, they fascinate children as Big Bird reacts. All right, let's see what's here. Uh, included with Big Bird Story Magic is the delightful, beautifully illustrated Big Bird Can Share Storybook and Synchromation Cassette. Now, I don't have this little brush. I guess it was a grooming brush. Nest and grooming brush included, so I have the nest. Plus surface washable, which I have done. The cassette deck, which is in the back. You can see it in this lower section here. And then, of course, we know about the animated beak and moving eyes. So let's uh, move down one more section here and read this last section. Or at least you can see. These were some of the books. It says, more exciting stories to come. I have four of the books, but only two of the cassettes. So I think what I need to do now is get them out of the box. So let's do that, and we'll learn more about Big Bird. All right, there he is, out of the box. Now, just so you can see how tall he is, I'll put the ruler in here. He's about 18 inches tall. Now, like I said, I have the book, but not the tape for this particular book, but I have two other books and tapes, and then I also have his base. So let's just move in now my camera here. He's pretty far back, so I can, he, it is pretty far back. Big Bird is pretty far in, so here we go. So as you can see now, let's just turn him around, you can get an idea. He's definitely fully plushed. His body is soft. Now they said his beak is soft and is squishable, see that? Now these eyes will go up and down. 
He always looks a little sad to me right now, and his head tilt is pretty common for other ones that I've seen. Let's look down at his feet. The very popular or very well-known feet of Big Bird. There you go. Now these are also squishy. His hands are squishy, but they're plastic. And then back here is the flap for the cassette deck. And then here's some Velcro there. This is the base. And this is what he sits on. And that he, he'll sit without it, but I think it just kind of adds a little to the funness of his nest. And then on the cassette deck, there's no fast forward or reverse. So you put the tape in, and then you have to let it go all the way through, then flip it. Now, satellite jack, I was wondering about that. I'll test that. That might be headphones, or maybe if you want to put an additional speaker. I've never heard of satellite jack. I'll check into that. As you see, it's from 1986, Muppets, Inc. Here is the battery compartment. It's got this little locking mechanism, and those are fresh batteries. So you need to get that in there and then lock it down. And then when you put the tape in, he's going to start right away. So what I thought, well, did I show the bottom really good? Here's his bottom. Here's that Velcro down here. There's his full legs. Look at that. Pretty cool. I will play you some of the tape now, but I thought that it'd be better for me to show you some here and then record the full books and tapes that I have. And then I'll put those in another video just so that... If there's any issues with copyright, this particular video won't get pulled down or affected. And then I will play the other ones just for fun. Let me show you what I have, though. Just sit there, big bird. Sit there and just look at me sideways. There you go. All right, so I have Big Bird Can Share without the tape. I have Big Bird's Day on the Farm without the tape. And then with the tapes, I have... The Sesame Street Players presents a Mother Goose, and that's what the tapes look like. And then, I have this one here, which is Big Bird and Little Bird's Big and Little Book. And then that is the tape, side one, side two. Now let me just show you the two that don't have tape, so you can kind of see what the books are like. This was program number six. So I have number two, number four, number six. And I believe this is the one that came in the box. That's why I showed it here. This book belongs to... I was on my way to Sesame Street when I saw a sign at a fork in the road. It said, No Through Road. What a funny name for a road, I said. Maybe this is the way to, the Ses to Sesame Street, I said as I walked along the dirt road. At least this looks like a nice place with grass and trees and flowers. Maybe there are some nice people here. Who can tell me how to get home? And then the story would go on. Now here is where Big Bird's mouth would be moving and his eyes. All right, let me just finish this one here. I won't read it to you. But I've always thought it'd be fun to read books, but here again... We always have to respect copyright laws. Okay, there we go. So that's what one of the books looks like. Let's just check the one that came with it. Big Bird Can Share. So this is the story that goes along, uh, the book that goes along with the story. There's Bert and Ernie. Ficky Fizz. That's the drink they have in the bottle caps. Playing in the sandbox. It'd be fun to have this tape. You know, maybe one day I will come across all of the tapes and cassettes. So here's what I thought I would do. I will show you now. There's Cookie Monster making an appearance. All right. There, I have showed you the book. And if I flip too fast for you, you can always just pause, stop, read that page, and then... Hit play again. All right, so let's see. I'm going to show you some of this one. So here's what I'll need to do. I'll need to get set up, put his tape in, show you that part of it. And then he's going to start singing all of these songs. And then between each song, you're going to hear a little sound that lets you know, or between each page, I think, to flip the page. So let's get set up for that. All right, here we go. So watch now. When I put this in, this button will come out, and then I'll be able to control the volume. And then he is going to 
start talking. So I'll show you that now. And then I will try to bring them both in the book. The Sesame Street Players present Mother Goose. There you go. Honk, honk. Hello, children. This is Mother Goose, and you're going to hear my poems now. <laughs> Oh, I can't fool you, can I? I'm not Mother Goose. I'm really your old friend, Big Bird. But I am going to tell you a lot of Mother Goose's rhymes. Now, when you hear this sound... That's the sound. That means it's time to turn the page in the book. Okay. We're starting on the first page, the one that has the rhyme about the three men in a tub. Oh, let's hear this one. And now it's time for the first poem. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Turn them out, names all three. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day. That was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned it out. But still it lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cried. Why, Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Rain on the green grass and rain on the tree. Rain on the housetop, but not on me. I'll do one more here. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. I'm sure you're all singing along. Star, how I wonder what you are. All right, let me stop him here. So what I'm going to do is just eject the tape. So I won't be able to rewind. And then here, let me just put this next one in so you can kind of get an idea. Now this one is more of like a storybook. Let me get the book ready. I believe I have the tape, yes, going the right way. Here we go. Now this one, I wasn't getting a lot of eye movement on. Let's see if it's working now. I get the, oh yeah, we got the right one. So here's the story. Oh, a big thing is an elephant. A little thing's a flea. I know a big snuffleupagus. I know a little bitty bee. Some folks eat water. Now, this is not following the story yet, so we'll see how this works. Little Bird and I 
have a special interest in big and little. After all, I'm eight feet tall, and Little Bird is only about ten inches tall Ooh. on tippy toes. You might think that that makes it hard for us to be friends, but it doesn't really. You see, if I drop a crayon on the floor, Little Bird can pick it up for me, so I don't have to bend down so far. And if Little Bird needs something off a big tall shelf, it's easy for me to get it. And being good friends with Little Bird does something else for me. It helps me remember that everybody isn't just like me. For instance, the other day, Maria and Luis were building a playhouse. And I said, why okay. don't you put the window up there? And Little Bird said, hold on a second. If the window is up there, I'll never be able to see out of it. Well, I had never thought of that. So do you know what happened? Luis and Maria finally made a big window high up for me and a little tiny window at the bottom for Little Bird. And that's when we thought of telling you a story ah. about big and little. There you go. But first, oh, okay. I have to tell you about something important. Okay. Listen for this sound, oh. okay? Yes, got it. That sound is to tell you when it's time to turn the page. Got it. Do you want to hear it again? Yes. Thank you. There it is. We'll begin on the very first page, okay. the one where I'm flying in my balloon. There we go. One day, I was floating way up in the sky in my big hot air balloon, looking at the big white clouds as they passed by. I really liked my hot air balloon. I like big balloons, I said. And there was Little Bird down below. From where I was, so high up in the air, Little Bird really looked little, holding her little green balloon. I like little balloons, she said. Then there was the time I was lying in my big comfy hammock with a big pitcher of lemonade next to me. I was staring off into the distance at Mount Yellowfeather. It was so tall, so majestic, so, well, you know, so big. Meanwhile, Little Bird had discovered a tiny little molehill, and she kept climbing up to the top and jumping from it. I looked up at the snowy mountaintop from my hammock. I like mountains, I said. Little Bird jumped off her tiny hill. Okay, that's I it for like now. Molehills, she said. What I'll do... Oop, before we turn the page... I'll eject that. So what I'll do is, we'll see how this video handles the copyright system. With that song in there, there could be a chance. And if there is, then I'll have to make some edits there. But what I'll do then is I will put an unlisted video link in the description where I will play the two complete tapes with the book so that we can all enjoy and remember and learn about this toy. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something about this Big Bird animated toy. And if you want to see more Sesame Street stuff, I have a link in the description to a playlist where you can just search Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.